Imagine standing before a centuries sealed tomb, a site connected with one of the most powerful stories in history, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Suppose someone opened it at last after all this time. It all began in the historic city of Jerusalem, where a gathering of religious leaders, archaeologists, and scientists assembled to see something amazing, the unveiling of Jesus' tomb, a place that had not been altered for more than 2,000 years. Holding their breath, people from all walks of life stood by to wait to learn what this discovery would unveil. The excitement rose as they worked at the layers of trash and soil. They seemed to be opening a gateway into the past. That door was locked for so long nobody knew what was behind it. Not even a typical scientific excavation. This trip inside one of the most holy tales ever recorded was one of the tomb was open. Preserved over the years, the chamber was still whole and silently attested to the biggest mystery in human history, the resurrection of Jesus. For millennia, millions of people all around have found hope in this tomb. Christians hold that three days following his crucifixion, Jesus emerged from this particular tomb. Now, though, the tomb was revealing its secrets while the globe watched. When they eventually revealed the tomb, they considered its symbolic importance in addition to its look. Christians have held for ages that Jesus rests at this spot, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. After his death, Jesus, the narrative of Jesus' death and resurrection, which forms the very foundation of Christian faith, revolves on the tomb itself. Rich man Joseph of Arimathea, who was covertly a disciple of Jesus, removed Jesus' body from the crucifixion according to the Bible. He buried his body in his own new tomb cut out of rock, linen wrapped, spiced covered. Matthew 27 runs from 57 to 60. Roman watches over a big stone in front of the door to stop any vandalism. Women who accompanied Jesus, including Mary Magdalene, went to the tomb on the third day following his burial, only to discover that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus' corpse vanished. The Gospels record angels showing up to tell them, He is not here. He now stands. Luke 24, 6. The basis of the Christian belief that Jesus overcame death and rose from the grave. Therefore, providing all those who believe in him with endless life is this occurrence, the empty tomb. The tension rose as they swept the trash and dust. Every stone and every mark on the walls could perhaps expose something fresh about the last hours of Jesus' existence on earth. Believers waited by hoping for confirmation of their religion while the scientists aimed to confirm historical events. Here is the collision between discovery and faith. Faith rests in the invisible, in the marvels against reason. Scientific discovery, however, sometimes looks for specific proof. The right there at the tomb, the two universes were clashing under close observation from the other planet. Still intact, the tomb has been kept over ages of history. They found indications of old burial customs and evidence confirming this place as a major Jesus burial site. Silent for so long, the tomb seemed to be speaking at last, verifying the ancient writings handed down through the years. Experts discovered as they dug farther the stone slab where Jesus' body would have lay still carried historical weight. Time had not touched it. It was a moving reminder of the time Christian tradition declared the conquest of death and the rebirth of hope. For believers, this realization confirmed that religion and history could coexist peacefully. Finding Jesus' tomb went beyond merely what was within. It was about what it stands for, a junction of science, religion, and history. It's about the harmony between knowledge and belief and the force of an event influencing the life of billions of people. There will always be fresh riddles to discover while the globe keeps researching this tomb. Still, one thing is very evident. The narrative of Jesus is far from finished. This mausoleum is more than just a holdover from antiquity. It is a symbol of the future, of faith, that still inspires and tests every one of us. Two fundamental ideas, faith and atonement, form the basis of this perspective. Though we have to study these concepts to grasp them, they help to make Jesus' narrative strong and timeless. Let us begin with faith. In Christianity, faith is more than merely a sentiment or a conviction in something invisible, particularly the promise of lifetime via Jesus Christ. This is a very intimate trust in the promises offered by God. Though they did not see it, 
faith gives millions of people belief in Jesus' resurrection. An emblem of this religion, the empty tomb is really strong. It stands for the conviction that Jesus rose from the dead, not as a myth or metaphor, but rather as a factual historical event. According to the Bible more especially, Hebrews 11, one faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. Stated differently, faith provides individuals with the will to believe in ideas transcending the earthly. The greatest trial of that faith is the resurrection of Jesus. Though the tomb is empty, faith tells believers that Jesus conquered death. Not merely because a body is absent, this leads us to the second idea salvation. The idea of atonement holds that Jesus' death and resurrection have set mankind free from sin and given them the gift of lifetime. This idea runs at the core of Christian doctrine. Without the resurrection, Christian atonement and tomb significance would vanish. To atone for their sins, people would present offerings to God in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, Jesus offers himself to atone for the sins of all people, therefore becoming the ultimate sacrifice. Jesus carried the weight of the sins of the world when he died on the cross, and he once and for once vanquished death once he rose. Christians hold that everyone can find atonement by this act of sacrifice and triumph. This story depends much on the tomb. The stone's removal in the absence of Jesus' body suggested that death's ultimate say was no more. Those who trusted in him now possessed the chance for atonement. We honor the resurrection every year on Easter as a reminder that every one of us benefits from Jesus' triumph over death. For anybody who embraces Jesus into their heart, the empty tomb represents a fresh start. A new beginning, but faith and atonement are not only concepts. They are quite intimate, for those who believe the empty tomb serves more than only historical significance. It represents their individual trip through spirituality. Christians believe that should they have faith in Jesus, he will likewise elevate them to eternity. The empty tomb has purpose as this is the promise of redemption. Simultaneously, faith presents difficulties of its own, believing in something invisible. Something as amazing as resurrection calls a leap of trust. For many, especially considering the challenges of life, uncertainty and anxiety can seep in. In Christianity, however, even uncertainty is a part of the faith journey. Many use the tale of Doubting Thomas, one of Jesus' followers, as a model. Until he could personally see and touch Jesus' wounds, Thomas famously refused to accept his resurrection. When Jesus showed him, though, he said, Blessed are to those who have not seen and yet have believed. John 20.29 20, This narrative reminds us that seeing is not how one develops faith. It results from believing even in trying circumstances. This clarifies the entwining of salvation with faith. Salvation provides humans meaning. Faith is what enables one to accept it. The promise of always life would seem unattainable without faith. Christians, on the other hand, hold that religion not only saves them, but also changes them so they may lead lives full of hope and direction. Once a sight of death, the tomb now radiates hope. It reminds us that believers may overcome anything, including death by means of faith. And in that conviction is the promise of redemption, the greatest gift Christians hang on to while they negotiate the difficulties and secrets of life. Thus, the finding of Jesus' tomb confirms these fundamental Christian doctrines. For the tomb represents hope, faith, and atonement. It is more than just a historical sight. It reminds us that, even in doubt and fear, faith may guide us toward something better. And those who search for it always have at hand atonement. Jerusalem is a city rich in history, first of all. It has seen many turning points in international and religious affairs. Still, of all the important events, none has more weight than the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Combining historical accounts with religious literature, it was clear from them that crucifixion was not unusual throughout Roman rule. Amid the political and cultural milieu of the time, the New Testament, especially the Gospels, tells the Roman officials' trial judgment, and crucifixion of Jesus. The way people view these events via their faith will de Historians search for proof. Theologians resort to the scriptures to grasp the greater meaning. The gospel narratives, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, do more than just record Jesus' death and resurrection. They show these occasions as fulfillment of prophecy. 
For example, Isaiah 53 describes a suffering servant who would be pierced for our transgressions, a passage that Christians interpret as directly referring to Jesus. This link between history and theology is essential. The Bible is not merely a spiritual text, but also a historical document. The events it narrates are not just tales but accounts of actual moments in time. That is why the opening of Jesus' tomb is such a pivotal event. It offers a unique opportunity to align faith with history by examining the physical evidence of events from 2,000 years ago and comparing them with the scriptures. Moreover, the remarkable evidence that archaeologists have unearthed supports much of what the Bible describes. For instance, the discovery of ancient burial practices near the tomb confirms the area's use for significant burials during Jesus' time. The presence of Roman artifacts corroborates the accounts of Roman involvement in the crucifixion. Despite this wealth of evidence, the resurrection remains a matter of faith, something that no physical discovery can conclusively prove or disprove. Theologically, the resurrection is not just an event, it is the culmination of a divine plan. Historically, Jesus' death and resurrection were pivotal for the salvation of humanity, a moment that reconciled God and humankind. This event marked a transformation where Christianity emerged and grew into a global faith that has significantly shaped human history. From a theological perspective, the tomb symbolizes hope and redemption. But it also serves as a historical site where we can trace the origins of a movement that continues to influence the world today. Integrating history and theology allows us to see the broader context the tomb is not merely an archaeological site or a religious symbol. It embodies both. It reminds us that faith and history are parts of the same narrative, enhancing our understanding of one through the other. The tomb of Jesus stands not just as a historical relic or a religious symbol, but as a bridge between past and present, linking the stories of ancient texts with the realities of our current lives. While archaeologists examine the stones and relics, believers reflect on the significance of an empty tomb, the foundation of their hope. For Christians, the empty tomb signifies more than an absent body. It represents a promise of life beyond death, a triumph over the darkest moments we face. This discovery compels us to reflect not only on the past, but also on how these events shape our current understanding of faith. The tomb serves as a testament to what happened thousands of years ago and continues to resonate within the human spirit. It encourages us to consider what faith means in our own lives. What stands out most is the personal reflection this discovery prompts. What happened at Jesus' tomb matters to us in our journeys. Although empty, the tomb is filled with meaning. It challenges each person to contemplate their beliefs, their relationship with the divine, and how Jesus' life and death relate to their own. The story of the tomb transcends both past and present. For Christians, the resurrection is an ongoing truth, not merely a historical event. For those seeking a deeper understanding, the tomb opens a door to contemplating the nature of life, death, and what might lie beyond. With all its historical and theological significance, the tomb of Jesus leaves us with an invitation to believe, to question, and to explore, despite doubt or uncertainty. There is always the possibility of more. Whether you view the empty tomb as a symbol of faith, a piece of history, or a site of curiosity, it challenges us to think beyond ourselves and consider the mysteries that define our existence. Thanks for watching. Be part of our community by subscribing to this channel until the next video.